Hello everyone, it's Matt here and welcome to part two of the Ryzen build. Um, now, I want to start off this video by sort of saying that I'm still awaiting the parts from Scan. Um, so, the order from Scan, for those of you that um, weren't aware of it, the order from Scan contained a new case, uh, the Asus ROG Crosshair 6 Hero AM4 motherboard, um, the two uh, dual kit uh, RAM, um, so that was two 8 gig uh, 6 of RAM, DDR4 RAM obviously, because or DDR4 memory, because that's what the motherboard coat has. Um, and also some thermal paste um, to put on the Ryzen processor, um, which is the 1800X. Um, so what is this video about? Well, this video is about doing uh, the benchmarks on my current system, um, because I just wanted to do a sort of bit of, this is what I had. Um, so as you can see in the top left corner, um, I have a CPU score of 638CB um, and the highest I've actually got on this computer is 639 um, which I, I've only had Cineventure installed uh, this evening um, so to give you a bit of detail uh, my computer is currently running an FX8350 which was the former top line processor from AMD connected to 16 gig of memory as uh, four four gigabyte sticks of RAM. Um I think it's four. I don't know, it should say in CPU Z uh, memory. Yeah, so I've currently got a total of 16 gig of memory, so that's four four gig sticks. Um an R9390 uh, graphics card and there's a few other bits such as a wireless uh, PCIe card and 24-bit uh, sound blaster Z audio card. Um, so, returning back to the topic, um, so we have a 638CB uh, CPU score in Cinebench, um, which the highest of which has been 639, so it's only one less from what I, the highest I've got, um, and this is just the standard bench, so if I run this repeatedly, that's the score I get. Um, so the 639 is a fluke, if you like, it's sort of like it just about managed to it one quicker. Um, and you can sort of see on there at the time that the S50 is just below an i7 377D uh, CPU in Cinebench. Um, but it is, <coughs> sorry about that, it is just above an i7 3720. Um, so we're looking at a 4 gigahertz uh, 8 core processor um, being beaten by 4 core 8 thread uh, processors running at a slower clock speed. Um, now, part of that might be to do with the fact that my RAM is in dual channel mode, so that might be slowing it down, um, but it is running at the standard 1866 clock speed, which the RAM is sated for. Um, and my CPU is still at clock, um, even though it says 4.02, it is actually at clock speed at uh, 4 gigahertz. I'm not actually made any um, sort of like uh, overclocking uh, to any of my components. Um, so I could probably get a little bit more performance um, and I'll probably do another run with Cinebench after I made some changes but to make the change I have to go into the BIOS and then load up Windows again so it takes a long time to actually make some of those changes um, and then obviously this is the uh, CPU Z uh, benchmarks and I've compared this uh, to an i7-7700K um, because that um, as I remember correctly has been showing up in some of the Ryzen benchmarks um, so this is a good uh, comparison and as you can see the AG350 tries its best but isn't that good um, so we sort of seen that it's sort of about half uh, the single thread uh, capabilities um, and it's probably about four fifths of the way there for the multi-threaded um, but again it's still lagging behind a fair portion um, so benchmark wise you can sort of see that the A350 isn't that good anymore um, especially when you see it's lagging uh, behind 3.4 gigahertz processors uh, with 4 cores and 8 threads um, and in actual fact it's just beating in some respects uh, a 4 core 8 thread processor running at 2.6 gigahertz um, 
So it shows that the Air 350 is extremely dated in terms of its architecture um, and its other specifications and uh, characteristics. Um, but this uh, video isn't just about the benchmarks and sort of saying, look how bad, I, how bad my computer is, because um, my computer has served me very well the past couple of years. It's run simulators very well. Um, I'm currently running Battlefield 1. It ran Battlefield 1 on ultra single, single player without any issues. No, it crashed once, I think it was. Um, and that was actually a performance issue, which they then issued a patch for. Um, and it sort of fixed that issue. Um, but I've not actually had any issues with it for most stuff. Um, it has crashed once or twice. Um, and surprisingly enough, despite the fact that so Windows 10 is supposed to be a stable OS, um, I've actually experienced more crashes in Windows 10 than I have Windows 7. But it just seems to be random crashes. Um, so, for example, um, I'll be doing something and I'll go away and do something else, come back, and it'll have actually crashed. Uh, the computer will actually crashed. Um, so I've just moved my mouse. I just to make sure it actually hasn't while I'm in the middle of recording. Um, and it's all things like that. Now, I have actually got some new um, hardware in. Um, I've, and I've actually picked this up from the Amazon locker today. Um, so here is. Amazon package and it is this uh, Samsung uh, 960 Evo M.2 NVMe SSD what's a mouthful um, and this is actually going to be my new C drive uh, when I install uh, the Windows 10 OS again um, and the reason why I've gone for an N NVMe SSD is that this solid state drive uh, which you've seen previously on an unboxing video and that's right, this was actually brought from Scan as well, um, very, about a month ago, maybe a bit more. And at the same time, I bought my Sand Blaster Z. Um, and that can actually now become just as um, a storage drive for gaming. Uh, so all the stuff, all the games that I need that are reliant on fast fret, uh, data fetches and sort of good direct access to, mem uh, to the storage. Um, media or storage memory um that should be good for that so that's things such as uh overwatch um such as Battlefield one and mmos and a few other bits and pieces that actually require a good sort of like i need that now and oh i've got it uh for the engine um so this is actually gonna be the c drive so this is can have all my apps um all my core apps and windows on it um, such as chrome um such as the steam uh application itself but not the actual games um and if you're the bit of you can all go on here for the storage to then actually be mounted um so on the ssd or on a standard um hard drive and what i currently run for my standard hard drive is a 500 gig uh, western digital caviar blue um hard drive which um when i ordered the second one wasn't actually sold by amazon I had to go for a third pass server who was selling for amazon um, to get it um so anyway, uh, that's the current state of things so essentially I'm just waiting on scan um, to deliver the goods um, and the story with that um, to not take too much time um, scan originally sort of sent an order update sort of saying your order has been delayed until the 1st of March because we're still waiting to deliveries of uh, the 1800 CPU and the ASUS uh, rod cross air six here on motherboard um fast forward to i think it's either the first or the second of march and it sort of said um your order has been updated the estimated dispatch date is now the 6th of march and this is because we're still waiting the review of the asus rod six uh cross air hero um motherboard so it's now the 6th of march as i'm recording this video um and I still haven't received any of the order yet. Um, and it's still, as far as I'm aware, still waiting for delivery of the um, Crosshair 6 here on motherboard. Um, now that was supposed to be doing today, um, but I have checked a few of the sellers and they haven't got it in stock either. So it makes me suspect that there's actually a shortage of them. Um, and it's kind of annoying because I only placed my order for um, all the uh, won't launch my new computer um with the exception of the motherboard um about 12 hours uh, after my uh, work colleague uh, 
place his order and he actually received his today um so uh the rug was actually bought later in the day i think it's like about 10 o'clock 10 11 o'clock i actually placed the order for the rug and what happened was i placed the order for uh i think it was like the x370 prime i think because it was the one just below the rug um so it was 150 compared to 250 um and then i sort of went um to scan so like kind of bump it up to the rug one you know because i think it's like the best and they went oh yeah you know so we added an extra charge to my um credit card um and the order was updated um so it's actually essentially i'm just now waiting for asus to deliver the uh rog process exterior motherboard to scan and then for scan sending the components um so essentially this will probably be the last update i do before i get the components because i see i've got everything i need to do the um new rise and build with the exception of just the the um actual case and motherboard and cpu and everything else um so hopefully i'll receive the order within next week um maybe a bit longer depending on how long asus uh, to get the uh, motherboards in production um anyway uh this is the update for my rising build and i'll see you in the next video